Welcome to the House of Justice, where truth is served, presented by YB Entertainment TV. Um, my supporters are called the jury, and I am the judge and executioner, honey, and my rulings are absolutely final. I don't want to hear none of that shit. None of it. But this is a message for the kids. Even if your internet doesn't, we got you. Yes, God. Yeah. Right. Inhale and exhale, bitch. If your father. And we ask that you bring up a brain. If she only had a brain. If she only had a brain, amen. She could thank for her motherfucking self. Booming at two, three o'clock in the morning because bitch, we is here, honey. Bitch, we can't go to Bella Noche, so where can we go? Oh Lord, I apologize. I just get so scared when we trying to save these motherfuckers. <laughs> Happen again, I'm a different breed, honey. Hello, God. I'm a queen of queens. I've been there and done that, bitch. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel, honey. Yes, God. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share because we all know that sharing is caring. Hit the notification bell. That way you're updated each and every time I'm uploading something new. And I just want to express, guys, you know, liking, commenting, and sharing. I know you guys hate, you know, us YouTubers, girls, content creators, and things, you know, when we say that kind of stuff. But it actually costs you nothing. And it helps us out in the long run because those who are monetized get paid for the videos, not by you, but by AdSense. And we also get our videos pushed into the algorithm so it's easier for us to pop up in people's suggestions. That way, people like yourselves can discover the greatness that we are, honey. Amen? Hello, God. So please make sure you guys do that. That helps us out. Um, support black content creators. You know, all of that good stuff. Amen? Shout out to the new people that's been coming through. I really appreciate y'all. Yes, honey. And um, shout out to the people that's been here, because I, you know, it ain't nothing without the, the first starters, amen, the first of your names, hallelujah. Um, I'm on my way to the gym, so this will be a car conversation. Um, we're going to lighten things up today, honey. We're just going to talk about some shows that I've watched um, briefly, um, touch on a couple of other things. And yeah, um, let's get into it, shall we? So, um, one of the show. Okay, so I watched Mortal Kombat, girl. 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 This is how simple it could have been. Okay. For those of you that haven't had a chance to watch Mortal Kombat, on, um, it's in theaters. Also, um, HBO Max has it. So if you have them, um, go on there. But there will be some spoilers just real quick. I'm not even going to touch on them long like I did Godzilla because Godzilla was worthy to be praised and reviewed. Amen. But this Mortal Kombat, girl, for the Mortal Kombat lovers, for the Mortal Kombat, you know, we've, uh, we stay with the newest Mortal Kombat game, honey. Yes, God. Girl, like, why is Mortal Kombat the one thing that no one can get right and i think doesn't dc own it so i'm just like girl look what y'all did with the snyder's cut girl of the justice league even before even without the snyder's cut the original justice league girl the things that you guys have been able to do visually speaking and story plots and just connecting things and making things make sense and you know decent actors even unknowns that were able to put on masterful performances. It's just like, girl, this Mortal Kombat lacked all of the above, honey. I just wasn't here for it. And the crazy thing about this one, you had the blueprint of the game to go by. MK11? Hello, God. That, that storyline on the story mode of the game was way better than this bullshit that we saw. At least these are my humble thoughts and opinions, y'all, okay? Again, my thoughts, my world, my life type of shit, or whatever, you know, <laughs> is in the intro video, amen? But yes, girl, like, I just felt like, girl, very lackluster. Um, we could have did way better than that, way better than that, honey. I mean, visually speaking, it was okay. But it just didn't add up to the acting. It didn't add up to the characters. It just didn't add up, child. Luke Kane looked like he was 
really in a third world nation, girl. Like, he was really hungry and starving, girl. Like, 50 cents a day could have kept Liu Kang to the point where we might have been able to defeat Shang Tsung a little bit earlier, girl. Okay? Liu Kang was bad the fuck ass, but then you got your ass whooped immediately, girl. Like, it was just a lot, and I just felt like, girl, perfect things were left out. Um, again, the blueprint y'all had was the blueprint y'all had could have been the story mode from the game and that would have been perfect um you can tell maybe the budget wasn't all the way there i don't know but it just was really i don't know y'all could have did better moving on um so i'm currently watching this show called the nevers on hbo max it's actually pretty cute um i took some time away from it just because i'm like girl <sighs> you know it's a time period piece that's almost like X-Men in a way. So this lady and her friend girl get together, honey, and they round up all of these, uh... Hurry up, bitch! Fuck! So, um, her and her lady friend get together, child, like Professor Xavier Girl and Magneto. Hello, God. And they round up all of these people who have special abilities, but society thinks that they are touched which means they think that they're afflicted with like witchcraft or curses and shit like that. So girl, she, in order to protect them, she saves them. And you know, I'm only on like episode four or five or whatever, but so far so good child. So check that out if you guys want to. Um, also shout out to It's Me D, honey, because I got to watch the Invincible on Amazon Prime. It's an animated like superhero series, but bitch, when I tell you, it has almost the same effect as that Zeus, um, that Zeus, uh, show that recently was on Netflix. Bitch, when I tell you that, huh, girl, it's really good. Y'all should definitely get into it. Um, it's not what you think. It's definitely not for children. <laughs> okay. 17 and older, bitch. Okay. It's def. they definitely made this for adults, um, you know, or bitches that were 17 or older. But definitely get into that. That was a really good series. Um, what else did I watch? Okay, WandaVision. I know I'm late to the party, girl. But I'm actually kind of glad I am because I got to watch every episode all the way through. I didn't have to wait a week. Um, it it kind of had me in the beginning. I was talking shit. Some people can be a witness to that. Oh, yes, honey. Hello, God. How are you today? <laughs> Happy Monday. <laughs> um, <laughs> hello, this girl. But, um, hold on, girl. Do not run me over. You're in the wrong lane. The fuck, bitch? But, girl, uh, what are we talking about? Ooh, what movie was it? Or show? Oh, WandaVision. WandaVision was really good. And I also watched, um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, whatever they're calling it. That was... You know, it started off just like WandaVision, a little slow. You were like, okay, girl, what is this giving? But, bitch, when I mean they turn up for real, like, it's definitely both of them are those types of situations where you have to, you know, they take their time to build up because that's what good storytelling is about. But build up was perfect. You will not be disappointed. Trust and believe. Um, my thing is, damn, man. Wanda bitch also known as scarlet witch girl like girl girl that is a powerful ass girl honey that is a powerful ass girl to be able to warp realities to create your own realities girl like she to, the power that she had fuck up professor xavier girl she took over the mind frames of an entire town bitch and imagine she had to sleep at some point so she was able to keep this power up even while she was sleeping girl i know that we've talked about her in the past especially um shout out to um the outsiders which was supposed to premiere this past weekend but like you guys know my computer is broken girl and i'm just having a lot of other issues too and i'm just like you know what in order for me to host the live again my computer needs to be fixed and other things need to be going according to plan as well so again guys i don't know when that's going to be again um i also was going to be premiering the yes god round table really soon so a lot of things are postponed at this moment so just pray for a bitch okay 
Um, I got to get all my ducks in a row. Antica Naturals also has been postponed. Um, I just have a lot of shit to do and a lot of shit going on. And there's not enough hours in the day. And there's not enough money, bitch. Let's just keep it real. There ain't enough money, girl. Um, I'm a very real person with very real other bills to pay. And, you know, girl. So, you know me. When I come, I'm going to come, girl. So be prepared and be on the lookout for those things. I'll definitely give enough notice on when those projects will be happening, okay? But um, I'm all caught up basically on a lot of this shit for superhero conversations. So when we're back and ready to um, do the Outsiders, girl, we have a lot of things to get into. And a lot of other things are going to be coming out this year. Um, mind you, cinema, you know, a lot of these networks have to make up for lost time, girl. The 19 kind of threw a lot of shit into chaos. Um, so they're, they're gonna have to prove themselves um, this year. So hopefully we get some shows um, that are gonna be worth a good watch. Um, I told y'all I finished uh, them. Child, girl, girl. I'll probably have that trauma for a while. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really here for additional seasons. Um, that's just my opinion. I, girl, I, I'm here for, it was a great motherfucking series. Don't get me wrong, girl. Don't get me wrong. It was, it was really good. But bitch, if we're not willing to, you know, if white people aren't watching this and, and really like looking at it from a place of like, okay, what can we do to change our position and our hateful fucking asses in the way in our in our uh, the way that we think about uh, people of color. Like, how can we change these things, bitch? Go. They just give people licenses, girl. It's just they just give it to them, girl. They just give it to them. That's all they do. That's all they do, bitch. I got my license when I was 18 years old on the first try. Okay. And bitch, I still remember some of the laws that I was supposed to fucking learn uh, in the between time. Anyway, um, because I'm about to get to the gym in a minute, so I just want to finish up some of this conversation. Um, but yeah, them, I was good. The first season was a success, in my opinion. Y'all gave what it gave. But if it's not going to push conversation and white people need to learn, you know, what are you honking at, you dumbass bitch? Don't honk at me, because I'm not doing nothing to you, this asshole. But um, definitely going to need white people to pay attention to these kinds of creative shows and movies that really shed light on the plight of, you know, black people, people of color, honey. Okay. So moving on, what else have I watched, girl? Mm. Well, shout out to the cat's meow because... I just started watching The Shit We Do For Love on YouTube. It is produced, created, edited, and all of that good stuff by Kevon Burns. Um, Y'all also may know him. He has a big, he had a big can. I don't know if he's still involved with Chasing Reality, but at one point or another, he was. So, um, big shout out to him because I'm living for this show. Um, so far, I went all the way back to season one. I'm going into episode three right now as we speak. But bitch, I'm definitely living for what I'm seeing. Um, and I like it. I really do like the plot of the show, the idea and the direction that at least I think where it's going. Now, I do understand that, you know, watching the Cats Meows reviews, you know what I'm saying? Um, I have seen there's drama, but it almost seems like from season one, at least is what I'm getting. My favorite people off rip are D'Angelo and Ra Ra, honey, Ryan, because you know, I'm from Florida, girl, and Ryan's from Florida as well, honey, so yes to the God. So, you know, I know that I'm a little early. I mean, well, I'm late as fuck, actually. I'm late as a motherfucker. But, um, bitch, at, so far, in that disastrous ass date between Alante and D'Angelo, now I think that was a perfect scene to cover because I believe that's a bigger conversation that we need to have in the LGBT community, more specifically the black LGBT community, because I don't think we know how to date anymore. I don't think that we have proper dating etiquette, girl. Think about it. That's probably why we're so unsuccessful in finding, you know, relationship matches and things of that nature, girl. We just really suck at dating. 
we don't know how to do it. Remember what Ryan said when D'Angelo just hopped on his dick, girl? Because he himself did not know what the T was. He himself did not know what the T was. Let me find another place to um, park, girl, because these girls are... Ooh, girl, what are you... I wanted to... Girl, people just be fucking up my shit, girl. Anyway, girl. Um... Yeah, so I just really think I really am. I think I'm gonna really like the shit we do for love. So I'm gonna definitely give that a look. Of course, since I'm late in the game, I'm not gonna be reviewing um, every episode. But when I'm done with season one, and by the time I'm done with season one, I think season two will probably be over with. I'll dive into that. So I'll give a season by season um, review. Not really a review, just more of my thoughts and what I took away from the show and things of that nature. But I'm definitely gonna start getting into that. Um. I want to talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta real quick. Um, I did not watch the season. Um, I actually haven't watched the past two seasons. Um, actually, maybe three. The last season I watched was the last one Nene was on, I believe. Hold on, no. Actually, the full the full season that I watched, actually, I just I just feel ashamed of myself, was the one with Portia and Phaedra told them lies on Candy and Todd, girl. Okay. But I do watch um, Scotty by Nature TV's reviews, Giving You the Real Tees reviews, um, Rodney the Voices reviews. Every once in a while, I'll take a look at um, Erica, Erica De Niro's uh, perspectives on the show as well. So um, shout out to them. So just by watching some of their reviews, I kind of can get the picture because Atlanta, like the rest of these other um reality shows they don't really change their premise they don't really change their direction so you don't really have to watch every single episode to kind of piece the drama together so if you just watch one of the reviews girl you can kind of, if you know the show because i watched the show from beginning to like i said that last season that i watched so i was an avid watcher of it but this reunion, I heard a lot of the girls talking about the way they were dressed, and I honestly was here for the way they were dressed. Now, far away, these pictures, they don't serve the girls justice. But bitch, up close and personal, hello God, the dresses in detail were beautiful. Portia's dress was beautiful, girl. The detail in that dress was every fucking thing, and it hugged her in all the right places. First of all, I think black looks good on just about any and everybody, but more specifically, I believe black looks good on melanin skin. Amen? Um, I was here for it. Bitch, Kenya Moore was, I was living, girl. It was very, you know, old school, like um, Billie Holiday kind of vibe, girl. I was really living for it, bitch. I'm here for it. No, her hair was done perfectly. And shout out to Portia. That short hair is cute, girl. I'm living for it. You know how to work yourself, girl. Or your stylist know how to work you, girl. Um, Cynthia Bailey always comes through with the sleigh, bitch. Always comes through with the sleigh. So let's not act like Cynthia don't know what she's doing, honey, okay? Because that shit was beautiful. Um, a lot of people talk shit about Candy Birds. Let me tell you something. Candy was working that motherfucking outfit, bitch. And she followed the rules, girl. Very dungeon mistress T girl. And I was here for it, bitch. Um, that outfit was everything, especially up close and personal. I just felt like she really worked it. Um, Miss Pinup Girl, dressed in nothing but pearls. Okay, shout out to little Kim. I was really here for it. Um, Drew Sedora, first of all, you know, I don't even know why the hell you were on here, girl. Honestly, girl, the last time I, I even knew you existed was when you played yourself in the game on BET, girl. And I wasn't seeing it for you then as an actress, as a singer, as anything. And I was emotionally invested in that show. And so when you were coming for Melanie's Man, honey, that made me want to whoop your ass in real life, bitch. And this outfit was not serving me anything, girl. Um, I don't know the true depth of your storyline through the show, but all I know is that, girl, we don't need you, we don't require you, and we don't desire you. At least that's my thoughts, bitch, my opinions, <laughs> my life, my world type of tea, okay? But um, all in all, girl, like, that's all I really have to talk about right now. I'm here at the gym. I'm going to go in here, and um, I don't know how long I'm going to do. I know that I, I didn't go yesterday, so I'm going to try to, you know, Get my cardio in, girl. Probably do some resistance training. And then, bitch, be the fuck up out of here because I might end up coming back here tonight. Depending on what happens in the gym or, you know, 
how I'm feeling afterwards. I may give y'all the Jim Chronicles, girl. Okay? Will y'all be blessed and never stressed? Have a great day. Amen? All right, and we'll talk later, guys. Bye.